Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 of the best shortcuts that you must have on your iOS 14 device. These are shortcuts that are very useful and probably you will use a lot of them on your device on a daily basis. So here are 15 must have iOS 14 shortcuts. The first shortcut for the video is called Shazam Spotify. Now it allows you to quickly find any song that you're listening to and it will open that song on Spotify. So it's very simple to use. All you have to do is just run it while playing a song in the background. And once it has found the song that you're listening to, it will take you directly to Spotify and of course to the song that you're listening to, it will open it on Spotify so you will have access to it very very easily and don't have to go and search for it manually on Spotify. The next one for the video is called Convert Photos to GIF. Now this one allows you to select a bunch of photos from the camera roll of your device and convert them into a GIF file. So all you have to do is just run the shortcut and select the photos from the library and once you have selected the photos that you want to use, you can see it will pop up like this and will show you a GIF containing all the pictures that you have selected. Now, once you're here, just tap the share button and from here we will have the ability to save it under the camera roll of your device. And then of course you can use it to share anywhere on your social media. Adjust Clipboard is the next one for the video. This is a must have shortcut. It allows you to adjust anything that you have on the clipboard. So once you have something copied, you can run the shortcut and it will give you the ability to edit what you have copied on the clipboard. So here, this is what I have on my clipboard right now. I can go ahead and of course, just edit this right here, click done. And now it will save the edited text or link or whatever you have on the clipboard. So now when you go to paste it, you will have the edited text. The next one for the video is called shorten URL. So whenever you want to share something on social media, a link to something, of course, you don't want to put a long link there. You want to have a short link and you can do that with this shortcut. It's very simple to use. Just go ahead and copy the link that you want to shorten and then go to the shortcuts app and run the shortcut. And just like that, you will have the link copied on the clipboard. So now if we go back, you can see right here, we have the shortened link as easy as that. You can shorten any link you one using this shortcut. The next one for the video is called What Did They Say? This shortcut allows you to grab lyrics out of the song you're listening to. So when you're listening to a song, all you have to do is just run the shortcut. It will recognize the song and it will also pick up the lyrics of that song. So let's just go ahead, play a song here. And just like that, you can see it will actually recognize the song and will find the actual lyrics of that song. So that's really, really great. If you want to share like a quote or something from a song, you can just run this shortcut and it will pick up the text for you. The next shortcut for this video is called Get Images From Page. You will have to run this from the share sheet. So when you're on a website, it allows you to get all the images from that website. Just go to the share sheet and make sure you run here, get images from page. You will see that little circle right there. Just wait here for a few seconds, like five to seven or maybe even 10 seconds and it should get all the images from that page. So let's just wait for this to complete. It's basically right now getting the images from this web page and once it's done, it will show you all the images right here. So let's just wait for that to complete. Of course, the time there will be different based on how many images there are on that page and of course, how many content that page has. So it should be done here on a few seconds. So let's just wait a bit more. Of course, this will depend also on the network speed that you're currently on. So it shouldn't last that long, but let's just wait here and see what happens. So it should be done very, very soon. So there it goes. Now it has found the images and we'll show them right here. So you will see all the different images that are on this web page. And if you want to save any of them to your device, you just tap the share button right there and go ahead and save that image. The next one is called make PDF. Now this one allows you to create a PDF out of basically everything like a note, a picture, a website, whatever you're on, you can create a PDF file. So here we are on this note, I can tap right there, tap on send a copy to go to the share sheet. And from here, just go ahead and run make PDF. 
and it will basically turn it into a PDF file. Of course, you have right there. And you can go ahead and just save this to files or to any other app that you need to, or just share it with any of your apps. Next up, we have another PDF shortcut. This one allows us to extract pages out of a PDF file. So if you have like a large PDF file and you just want to get like a page or two or even more from that file, you can just run this shortcut and then go ahead and select the PDF that you want to use. Once you have found the PDF that you want to use, you go ahead and from the shortcut, choose whatever if you want to like extract a few pages or most pages. So if just a few, you go ahead, tap right there. It will show you the pages of that PDF file right here. You go ahead and select the pages that you want to extract so let's go with three here so we have the page 14 15 and 16 now you can see it will actually go ahead and extract those pages you can tap right there and save this as a separate file from that pdf next up we have resize image this one allows to resize any image that you have on your photo library all you have to do is just copy the image that you want to resize run the shortcut and from here you can choose how much you want to resize it you can make it bigger you can make it smaller like 50 percent 25 percent or you can add a custom percentage so if i go right here at 50 percent you can see that now it has resized it it shows you right here the original size and the resized right there click done it will show you the image right here and you will have the share sheet of course if you tap done then it will show you this menu from where you can save you can share it or you can just simply copy it to the clipboard Add to home screen allows to add anything as a shortcut as an icon on the home screen of your iPhone. So you basically copy anything to the clipboard like a link for example, you run the shortcut and you can go ahead and from here pick an icon for that shortcut. So let's just go ahead and go from icon right here, let's go to the camera roll and choose an image which we will use as an icon for that link for example in this case. And once you have selected the icon for that link in this case you go ahead and choose whatever you want to put there in this case we have a url go ahead and paste it right here click done and now it will take us to this page which allows us to add it to the home screen and just like that of course we can rename it right there you can see we have now an icon of course with that link that we have added from shortcuts Photo details is the next shortcut for the video. It shows you details about a photo that you have on the photo library. Just run the shortcut and select any picture you want. Once you have selected the picture, it will show you right here all the details regarding that picture. It shows you the name of the picture and then right here it shows you all the different informations like the format, the size, the height, the the width of course it will show you the, the device that you have used to take that picture you can see the iso speed right here the shutter speed the current the creation date the data it was taken everything will be right here all the different details regarding the picture that you have selected charging notifications will alert you when your device is charged at a certain percentage which you set so you run the shortcut and choose the percentage right here you can choose a custom percentage right here just go ahead and enter the percentage that you want and then click done now once your device is it's charged at that percentage it will send you a notification so that's really really cool and of course very useful you plug in your iphone to charge whenever it's charged at the percentage that you want you will get a notification convert live to gif will convert your live photos into gif files so all you have to do is just run it and select the live photo from the photo library now once you have found the image that you want to convert into a GIF, you can see right here as it shows, it will turn a live picture into a GIF file. You tap the share button and you can go ahead and save it or share it anywhere you want. The next one is called dictate to notes. It allows you to dictate and create a note quickly. So you run the shortcut and dictate anything you want to note. This is a test shortcut. Once you're done, you tap that button and now it has saved that as a note on the notes app. Of course, this works with the stock notes app of your, of your iPhone. And last but not least is reverse image search. This one will search for any image that you have copied on the clipboard of your iPhone. So all you have to do is just run reverse image search, of course, with the image already copied on the clipboard. And now it will run Google and you can see right here, it will find the image that you actually have copied on the clipboard of your iPhone. 
So that is it for this video guys, these are 15 iOS 14 shortcuts that you must have on your iOS 14 device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully you will find these shortcuts helpful and will help you on using your iOS 14 device on daily basis. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next one.